In this video series, we've covered choosing a niche, incorporating keywords, creating content, and what placement, color schemes, and ad blocks to use within your website. So here's a quick overview of what you need to remember when structuring your pages and maximizing your AdSense earnings. First of all, blend the ads to fit your website. Use the customization features that Google provides to make the AdSense ads fit within your website instead of just simply sticking out like a sore thumb. Blended ads tend to get more action than those that are obviously advertising. Secondly, use section targeting to define important areas. With section targeting, you're clearly defining the most important areas of your website so that whenever a Google spider visits and crawls your site, they're instructed to pay attention to specific areas of importance. You should focus on high exposure ad positioning. You have to find the right places to put your AdSense ads to maximize them for clicks. Focus on different positioning, paying attention to your overall performance. Once you've found a hot spot on your site that's maximizing your click-through rate, apply that same positioning to other blogs and websites that feature Google Ads. You should track your performance closely. You have to track your AdSense performance. Don't let yourself get so focused on generating traffic or monitoring your website stats that you forget to pay attention to just how well your AdSense account is performing. You need to stay on top of this if you want to maximize your AdSense income. Use the filter that Google offers. A huge mistake people make is not filtering out competitors' ads. You have to do this or else chances are that these are going to be the ads you'll get. With Google, you can enter up to 200 URLs that you don't want to display ads for, which can help you in preventing direct competitors from being featured on your site. Incorporate high quality, fresh content. Make sure that you give people a reason to return to your website and click on your AdSense ads. Do your best to consistently add fresh, relevant content to your website that your visitors will find appealing. Consider implementing a newsletter into your website so that you can contact your subscribers each time you add new content to your blog or website. If you're basing your website around a WordPress blog, there's a free plugin that you can download which will install an autoresponder opt-in box onto your site. And you can download it from this site here, codebanter.com forward slash projects. You should keep your website focused on quality. Don't overload your website with AdSense ads. Less is more when it comes to AdSense. You're allowed to put a certain number of AdSense ads on your web pages, but you should always make sure that you're not overloading your pages. Be reasonable and only use ads when they work with your site and add value to your content. And you should never stop making changes to your ads until you're achieving a high click-through rate. Keep on top of your earnings and overall performance and test out different positioning as well as size and color schemes. You should always be working towards improving your ads performance and maximizing your click-through ratio and overall income. You now have the knowledge you need in order to create a fully optimized website that will showcase your ads and generate maximum click-through rates. What you now need to do is apply this knowledge by creating your first AdSense-based website, applying all the information contained within this video guide, and taking on and starting your first campaign. Taking action to test and tweak your advertisements is an important element of being successful with AdSense, and if you take a proactive approach, you'll be leaps and bounds ahead of your competition. And I wish you every success.